Dr. Layfeld. How are you today? I'm great. Good morning, Roxy. Good morning. Well, I'm a new mom myself, and I'd like to know a lot more about the procedures that you do. What are some of the top procedures? A lot of our moms have had babies, they breastfed, and their breasts are deflated. Certainly, your body is going to continue to change and age with time. And the key is, is having a great relationship with a board-certified plastic surgeon who can really follow along with you. Your body is not static. Even after surgery, even if you don't get pregnant, right. things are going to continue to change. So what is the downtime for some of those procedures? Am I going to be laid out for weeks on end or is it a pretty quick recovery? Most patients are pretty functional at about a week to two weeks. Mm -hmm. They may not be doing everything that they were doing right before surgery, mm -hmm. but certainly they can return to usually pretty much unrestricted activities maybe about six weeks after surgery. So can I breastfeed? Well, breastfeeding after breast surgery is a big concern for a lot of young mm -hmm. ladies that we see and mommies alike. And there is certainly the possibility of breastfeeding after surgery. Mm -hmm. Again, it's really important to sit down with your doctor, have that conversation, make sure that you're on the same page, that you share the same aesthetic vision, and get those questions answered. Natrell Breast Implants Important Information Who may get breast implants? Natrell breast implants are approved for women for the following. Breast augmentation for women at least 22 years old for silicone filled implants. Breast augmentation for women at least 18 years old for saline filled implants. Breast augmentation includes primary breast augmentation to increase breast size as well as revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast augmentation surgery. Breast reconstruction. Breast reconstruction includes primary reconstruction to replace breast tissue that has been removed due to cancer or trauma or that has failed to develop properly due to a severe breast abnormality. Breast reconstruction also includes revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast reconstruction surgery. Important safety information. Who should not get breast implants? Women with active infection anywhere in their body. Women with existing cancer or precancer of their breast who have not received adequate treatment for those conditions. Women who are currently pregnant or nursing. What should I know before getting breast implants? Breast implants are not lifetime devices and not necessarily a one-time surgery. Many of the changes to your breasts following implantation cannot be undone. If you later choose to have your implants removed and not replaced, you may experience unacceptable dimpling, puckering, wrinkling, or other cosmetic changes of the breast, which may be permanent. Breast implants may affect your ability to breastfeed, either by reducing or eliminating milk production. Rupture of a silicone-filled breast implant is most often silent and may not be detected by you or your doctor. You should have an MRI three years after your surgery and then every two years after that for as long as you have your breast implants to determine if rupture is present. If implant rupture is noted on an MRI, you should have the implant removed with or without replacement. With breast implants, a routine screening, mammography, and self-examination for breast cancer will be more difficult. Ask your doctor to help you distinguish the implant from your breast tissue. Symptoms of a ruptured implant may be hard knots or lumps surrounding the implant or in the armpit. Change or loss of size or shape of the breast or implant, pain, tingling, swelling, numbness, burning, or hardening. Tell your doctor of these symptoms and remove ruptured implants. Inform any other doctor who treats you of the presence of your implants to minimize the risk of damage to the implants. What should I tell my doctor? Tell your doctor if you have any of the following conditions as the risks of breast implant surgery may be higher. Autoimmune diseases, for example, lupus and scleroderma. A weakened immune system, for example, currently taking drugs that weaken the body's natural resistance to disease. Planned chemotherapy following breast implant placement. Planned radiation therapy to the breast following breast implant placement. Conditions or medications that interfere with wound healing and blood clotting. Reduced blood supply to breast tissue. Clinical diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders, including body dysmorphic disorder and eating disorders. Please discuss any history of mental health disorders with your surgeon prior to surgery. 
Patients with a diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders should wait for resolution or stabilization of these conditions prior to undergoing breast implantation surgery. What are some complications with breast implants? Key complications are reoperation, implant removal with or without replacement, implant rupture with silicone filled implants, implant deflation with saline filled implants, and severe capsular contracture, severe scar tissue around the implant. Other complications include asymmetry, nipple, breast, skin sensation changes, scarring or wrinkling and rippling. Talk to your doctor about other complications. Talk to your doctor. For more information, see the patient brochures at www.allergan.com slash labeling slash USA slash HTM. To report a problem with Natrell Inspira breast implants, please call Allergan at 1-800-433-8871. Natrell breast implants are available by prescription only.